Hey YouTube, welcome to another video with Growing in OKC. I'm here and I'm going to be talking today about how to save and store seeds. So I have, oh, easy, yeah, I have arugula that's so dry I was going to try to pull off one pod to just show you what the individual pod looks like, uh, but it ended up breaking open and sending seeds down into the bottom of my bucket which is why I'm doing this uh, in a bucket in the kitchen instead of just doing it without one because I'd probably have seeds all over the floor. So I'll pick the camera up and I'll show you all a close-up of what the arugula plant looks like when it's ready to be harvested. Okay, so this is what arugula looks like once it's all dried. Each individual pod looks something like that. It's about a half inch long and there are two sides to it and it's separated I'll drop you down here into the bucket each side is separated by a thin membrane this one happens to be open and you can see how many seeds are just on each side of that membrane that's probably about 10 to a dozen seeds right there so for a bucket like this which is one maybe two plants of arugula I should have man five six hundred or more seeds to to sort out okay so the materials we'll be using today to st for the seed storage are a clear glass bowl what we're gonna do is we're gonna break off each individual pot I'm going to try to pinch the pod and hopefully the seeds fall into the bowl Then I can throw this in, into some sort of compost pile and then put the seeds into another little, this is a one inch plant container and I've got a Ziploc bag around it. So, oh yeah, and last but not least, your coffee. Okay. I'll see you all in two hours after I've sorted through all these seeds. Okay, so we've taken all the seeds out of those little pods and this is what we're left with. Some of the seeds, I don't know if you can tell from the color of this bowl, but some of the seeds are black and some of the seeds are brown. And I don't really know why that is. Maybe it's just a natural variation that occurs. But I went ahead and set aside. One second. I went ahead and set aside for the practice of trying to find out how much would germinate. Five of the seeds that were brown and five of the seeds that were black. So that maybe I have a little bit of an accurate... Uh, guess as to whether the brown or black seeds germinate better. Um, so just something to consider if you happen to save your own arugula seeds as well. So now that I've done that, I've set up this little packet and it says arugula, today's date, and a blank spot out of 10 for how many of my seeds germinate and then I've got this silica gel packet. So what I'm gonna do now is use my handy dandy funnel and get all those seeds into this little packet. Okay, so this is it. After about two hours of work, that's all the seeds that I have saved. I'll put a pencil next to it so you all can see. That's about it. Um, but, even though this probably took two hours in order to save a couple hundred seeds, I think it's really important that we learn to save our own seed for a couple of reasons. One, as an organic grower, it's nice to know where your seeds have come from and how well they do in your specific environment. So that's one reason why you wanna save your own seeds. Additionally, it's important to save your own seeds because you're not supporting the, the companies that 
engage in monoculture and simply produce one seed uh, for everybody. And those seeds may not reproduce the following year like hybrid uh, species and uh, other genetically modified organisms. So you know where these seeds are coming from when you save your own seed. And then lastly, one of the reasons why it's important to save your own seed is because if, if crap hits the fan, you're not going to be able to just run down to the supermarket and buy a pack of seeds for two or three dollars. So it's important for us to know how to save our own seeds so that we can be sustainable as well. So these are just a couple of reasons why you should save your own seeds. And I wish you the best of luck growing in Oklahoma City or wherever you're at in the world.